Alright, what's going on guys? Um, it's been a while since I crashed, so I'm kind of finally making an update. It took me about like five days to stop being nauseous and stuff every time I would look at a computer screen. So, and then like the other, like, I guess now it's been like around nine days, nine or eight or seven, I don't know. But either way, it's it's been a little bit now, so I'm kind of back to normal now. I just, there's still a lot of things I can't do because of my back. Um, which it sucks, but I'm not like really in constant pain or anything like that. So that's just kind of like an update on me. But anyway, so I figured now I'd, I'd tell you how I crashed. I pretty much already said all this stuff on my Instagram pretty much back when it happened. Um, but not everybody follows me on Instagram and I was also kind of wrong about it. I, did, I thought I crashed completely different from how I actually did. So what happened was I was going down this road and it, was, it was, had a super sharp curve. I've been down the road before, but I hadn't rode with uh, the same people, or I might've rode with one of the guys, but the guy was in front of me, I don't know. But the group of people I was with, I, I thought I was a lot closer to their skill level. And so they made it look like super easy. And then, um, I think it turned out that I wasn't closer to their skill level like at all and so um, when I came up to the curve I just got spooked and I hit my brakes honestly and uh, my back tire just immediately slid they were saying there was gravel there's some gravel over there so I don't know if my back tire slid because there was gravel or if it's because I hit it but three people made it through the curve and I didn't so I mean like that says that says enough kind of like it was my fault so um anyway so i started sliding and then i i didn't hit the road really i just kind of i was low sliding towards like a ditch um but i didn't really like hit the ground until right at the edge of the road or the grass or something and then will um i'll plug his instagram he was behind me and the other day i was asking him like so what happened like what really happened since nobody was recording and he said i tumbled forward like a somersault almost like five or six times and so that's not what i thought happened at all i remembered sliding and getting to the grass and then i just remembered um nothing actually i just remember waking up so i thought that i got to the grass and high sided but apparently i low sided and just like front flipped like five or six times and because of that i ended up with um five fractures Three of them are compression fractures and then two i think are like on the vertebrae or something so whenever he had told me that i was like oh wow i got a, a fracture for each flip which i don't know if that's really how it broke probably not but it's, it's, it's kind of just funny as a joke but um yeah so that's like how i crashed and how i like what happened while crashing and stuff I have a video just to kind of help you visualize it. The main similarities between my crash and the video is how sharp the curve is, I think is like really similar. And then I guess just the gravel situation kind of, except for the guy that I'm going to show you, Mr. No One, he's a better rider than me. So if you go watch his full video, you'll see like there's some other turns and stuff that he takes where, so like his, his is more because of the gravel. And then the way he slid, he slid across the road. I didn't really slide across the road. I slid and then like fell down like at the end of the road. Yeah, I don't remember what all his injuries were, but um, I think it was mostly like road rash and bike damage. And mine ended up just being like almost no road rash and then a bunch of fractures in my back, which sucks. I would have honestly rather had road rash because I would have been over that within like two weeks. And instead, now I'm going to have to be in a back brace for like six, and then I'm going to have to do physical therapy. So, uh, kind of sucks. Now that we're past the crash, I'll just tell you what I plan to do for the rebuild. Um, I'm just going to order a bunch of stunt parts. I actually already have. Um, I didn't get the stuff for the handbrake yet, because that's like another thousand dollars. But I went ahead and got the, the crash cage stuff. I, I had to get a subframe, because my subframe was cracked. So I just went ahead and got a steel subframe so I could have the titanium stuff. I was going to get raised clip-ons, but they're like ridiculously expensive. And I don't even know if all my stock wiring stuff will be long enough for that. So I just went ahead and got regular clip-ons like I did last time. And then with that, I can do a tutorial on like how I flipped them originally to be kind of like free stunt bars. If you guys are interested in seeing that. 
because I know there was a lot of times people were asking me about that. And then so um, that's really all there is to cover. If you guys want to see anything else that I can make while I'm at home, I guess, because I'm not going to be able to ride for quite a while. Um, so if there's anything that you, th you think I'd be able to make a video on, just comment it, let me know. And I'll see what I can do because I have the uh, the stuff to make videos for my computer. I just don't know what you guys would want to see if it's not like moto vlog type stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I guess I'll see you guys whenever I uh, have something else to make.